वेलकम टू हार्ड इंजीनियर डॉट कॉम आई एम वरुण पटेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट ए पी आई सिक्स टेन सेंट्रिकल पम्प यू विल लर्न अबाउट फॉलोइंग टाइप्स ऑफ पम्प्स बेज ऑन ए पी आई सिक्स टेन स्टैंडर्ड ओ एच वन टू ओ एच सिक्स टाइप ओवर हैंग पम्प बी बी वन टू बी बी फाइव टाइप बिटवीन बैरिंग पम्प वी एस वन टू वी एस सेवन टाइप वर्टिकली सस्पेंडेड पम्प सो वॉच द वीडियो to get the complete understanding of these topics and don't forget to subscribe because that way you will get notification of my new future videos you can subscribe right now by just clicking the subscribe button on the right hand side of the screen let's start with video api 610 is the standard for the centrifugal pump for petroleum petrochemical and natural gas industries it has a categorized the pump based on the construction the chart shown here lists the classification of the pump based on api 610 i will explain you each of these there are three main categories such as oh bb and vs under each of these categories there are more sub and sub categories based on the coupling use number of stages and casing Let's start with OH type API 610 pumps. First is OH1 type pump. The image shown here is OH1 type pump. OH means overhang. This is single stage overhang with a foot mounted base plate design. Here you can see the base plate that is foot mounted. It is a horizontal pump with flexible coupling. Here you can see the support This is a overhang and here is the support which supports the pump at the opposite end of the shaft. Second is OH2 type pump. This type of pump is centrally supported. Here in the image you can see that there is no leg support at the bearing end of the pump as compared to what you have seen in OH1 type. Here I have put the both image so it will be easier for you to the, get the difference between OH1 and OH2. It is also single stage and suction pump with a single bearing housing. During operation this bearing housing helps to absorb the force imposed on the pump shaft. It is also ensure the proper position of the impeller during the operation. Next is OH3 type pump. OH3 pump is flexibly coupled single stage and inline pump with overhang impeller. Here you can see that it has a separate bearing bracket. It comes with integral bearing housing which helps in absorbing pump load. The motor is directly mounted on the pump. Here in the image you can see that motor is directly mounted on the pump. This is the pump, this is bearing housing. It also use flexible coupling. The next is OH4 type pump. The only difference between OH3 and OH4 is the use of rigid coupling in OH4 type pump as compared to flexible coupling in OH3 pump. Here you can see the difference between the both. In OH4 pump what is happening is that the pump and motor they are directly connected means rigidly connected whereas in case of OH3 This is flexible coupling. The next is API OH5 centrifugal pump. OH form type is a close couple pump. What does it mean is that that the shaft of the motor and the impeller they are connected means the impeller is directly mounted on the motor shaft. So they are close couple. It is vertical inline single stage overhang pump. Here you can see in the image that Next is OH6 type pump. OH6 is high speed pump as it is used increasing gearbox. So in this type of pump there is a one gearbox that will increase the speed of the impeller. So the motor is directly connected with the gearbox through flexible coupling and the impeller it is mounted on the gearbox shaft directly on the gearbox shaft. So the speed of the pump is very high. OH6 also a single stage pump with overhang design it can install both vertically and horizontally if you want to learn more about centrifugal pump principle operation and design 
you can check the full course available on my website. It is 7 hour long course covering every aspect of the pump that will make you super confident about the centrifugal pump. So don't forget to check this course, it may help you to advance your career. Next is API 610 category of the centrifugal pump that is between bearing multi-stage pump popularly known as a BB type. The first is BB1. BB1 is a horizontally installed one or two stage pump. The casing of this pump is axially split type. The pump is directly mounted on a base plate and driven by the motor via flexible coupling. Here in the image you can see the BB1 type pump. The next is BB2 type pump. The difference between BB1 and BB2 is the way casing split. In BB2, the casing is radially splitted type, whereas in case of BB1, it is axially split type. Next is BB3 type pump. A multi-stage between bearing pump with axial split casing design is designated as a API BB3 type pump. This pump is used for flexible coupling to connect the driver. Next is BB4 type centrifugal pump. In this API pump design, each stage of the pump is like a ring and connected through tie rod around them. If you see the image, it will be clear why this pump is called ring section pump. Each stage is radially split design and installed on the shaft supported by bearings at the both end. Next is BB5 type pump. BB5 type pump is known as barrel pump due to its barrel like design. It is used in high pressure services. It is a multi stage double casing radially split design that use flexible coupling. The last API 610 category for centrifugal pump is vertically suspended pump, popularly known as VS type. Let's start with VS1 type pump. VS1 type pump is a single casing vertically suspended type design. It is used as a wet pit pump or diffuser pump. The column of the pump is used as a discharge from the pump. Here you can see that there is no separate pipeline or connection for the discharge. So the suction will happen from the bottom, from the here and it will push the liquid towards the discharge flange that is passed through the column of the suspended pump. Next is VS2 type pump. VS2 type pump use volute casing design as compared to VS1. All other factors are similar to VS1 type pump. Here you can see that VS2 there is the only difference is the pump casing design. The next is VS3 type pump. VS3 type pump is axial flow and single casing vertically suspended type design. Pump column over which pump assembly is mounted used as a discharge from the pump. Here you can see that in the image. The next is VS4 type pump. This type of pump has a separate discharge column. It has a volute casing design. The vertically suspended shaft can be supported through intermediate bearings. Here you can see that the discharge is as a separate from the pump suspended column and in between the this vertically suspended shaft you can see the bearing housing. The next is VS5 type pumps. VS5 also has a separate discharge column. The difference in the vertically suspended shaft. In the case of the VS5 there will be no intermediate bearing. The pump shaft is cantilever and the supported by top bearing only. So it is direct limits, the shaft is long and there will be no supporting bearing in between from the impeller to the driver end. The next is VS6 type pump. VS6 pump has a double casing. It is also known as a can pump due to its design. It is a vertically suspended pump with a discharge through the pump column. This design is used to increase NPSH in some of the case by installing the pump underground. The last API VS type pump is VS7 type pump. VS7 type pumps use volute casing design as compared to VS6. 
all other factors are similar to VS6. That's it for this video. Don't forget to check the full course on my website and please do like and share this video with your friends and colleagues because this will help me to get higher ranking. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please so that you will get notification of the new video as that way. See you soon with new video. Goodbye. Take care.